Hey guys, so today we are going to drive the Bresenham line drawing algorithm. First of all, we had only discussed the algorithm. So now we are going to do its derivation. So now let us drive this algorithm with the help of a diagram. That is suppose we have this coordinate axis and this is a line. And this point over here in the y axis is given as xk plus 1. And over here, this point on the y axis is given as y. And suppose we have another point over here, which is given as yk plus 1. And suppose there is another point, and this point is given as yk. And let this distance be d2, and then distance between these two points be d1. Now we have to decide whether we should be taking this point or this point in order to draw a line from the starting point to the ending point that is i'll repeat we have to draw a line from the s point and to the e point that is from the starting point to the ending point and when we will go we will, when we will be passing through this point we will have, we will have to decide that whether we have to take this point or this point that is either we will take we will be taking yk plus one or yk so in order to decide that first of all let us write the equation of this line as y is equal to mx into xk plus 1 plus b and we will write d1 as y minus yk as you can see from the figure the value of d1 will be y minus yk that is from this this point now similarly for d2 we will write yk plus 1 minus of y now in d1 we will be putting 1 that is this equation will be used over here so on doing that you will get d1 is equal to m into xk plus 1 plus b minus yk now similarly we will do the same thing for d2 that is in d2 over here we will put the value of y so on doing that you will get yk plus 1 minus m into xk plus 1 minus b so now we have got the two values of d1 and d2 now we will find the difference between these two separations that is we will find d1 minus d2 on doing that you will get mm into xk plus 1 plus b minus yk minus yk minus 1 plus m into xk plus 1 plus b now on further solving this we will get d1 minus d2 as 2m into xk plus 1 plus 2b minus 2yk minus 1 so let this equation be let this equation be a now we will find the decision parameter so before doing that we will put the value of m in this equation as del y by del x and the uh, the formula that we will be using for the decision parameter that is pk is equal to del x into d1 minus d2 that is first of all we will uh, use this equation and we will substitute the value of m as del y by del x then after substituting m is equal to del y by del x we will put the value of d1 minus d2 over here and on doing so we will get the value of pk as 2 del y xk minus 2 del x into yk plus c this is some constant c that we have taken that is we have clubbed all the constant values together and we have written them as c now over here we will write pk plus 1 this is nothing uh, it is just the uh, uh, advancement of pk that is we will write pk plus 1 so you will be able to understand what i am doing now that is now we will write 2 del y into xk plus 1 that is in the, it, this is in the subscript now similarly over here we will write 2 del x into y k plus 1 plus c so this is the difference between pk and pk plus 1 and now we will be finding out pk plus 1 minus pk that is on doing that you will get 2 del y into xk plus 1 this is in the subscript 
माइनस एक्स के माइनस टू डेल वाई टू डेल एक्स एक्स के प्लस वन माइनस वाई के नाउ वी नो दैट फ्रॉम दी एलगोरिथम यू मस्ट हैव सीन दैट एक्स के प्लस वन दैट इज दी एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट इज ऑलवेज इंक्रीमेंटेड बाय वन irrespective whether the value of pk is less than 0 or greater than equal to 0 so on doing that that is on substituting the value of xk plus 1 as xk plus 1 in this equation we will get the value of pk plus 1 minus pk as 2 del y minus 2 del x into yk plus 1 minus yk now we know that yk plus 1 Y k plus one that is is in the subscript still minus y k. It can either be zero or it can either be one, depending whether the value of p k is greater than zero or it is p value of p k is less than equal to zero. So these are the two conditions which will decide whether the value of y k plus one will be zero or it will be one. So now we will substitute the value of pk as that is 2 del y minus del x that is is the starting parameter so guys this is a starting parameter and remember that whenever pk is greater than equal to 0 then we will find the value of uh, xk plus 1 as 1 that yk plus 1 minus yk as 1 and whenever pk is less than equal to 0 we will find yk plus 1 minus yk as 0 so this is the case that we'll have to do now we have found out our initial decision parameter so our derivation is complete we wanted to find out find out our initial decision parameter and we have done that so now guys in the next video we will be discussing about the derivation of midpoint line drawing algorithm and if you were able to understand this video and this derivation just write wow in the comment section it would be great to know that you were able to understand it that is on uh, finding out pk plus 1 and minus pk we will write this uh, write this equation then you will write this that is we will write yk plus 1 minus yk is can be either 0 or 1 depending on the value of pk then straight away you can write the value of p not or the initial decision parameter this is the initial decision parameter you can straight away write this equation directly in your exam so do not worry that how we got this we have got this equation from this only but we have just removed a few steps in order to make a derivation easy and simple so if you write this whole uh, derivation in your exam you will get full marks as this is the complete derivation for bresenham line drawing algorithm so this is it for this one please do not forget to subscribe our channel so guys see you in the next one